My job this morning is incredibly fun because my task is to look up fun embroidery patterns to carry on experimenting with my new embroidery machine, seeing what I can do. So I found a couple of things that I really want to try. I'm going to show you. This adorable little gingerbread house that apparently is three-dimensional, then this I think could be really pretty as a Christmas decoration as well. It's a sort of cut-out leaf. But my main problem is that there's no Wi-Fi in the Grand Salon where we've currently got my sewing machine. So we have to move the sewing machine somewhere where I can get it onto Wi-Fi so that I can send these files across to it, which means starting to set up the sewing room in the attic. I'm actually going to miss the Grand Salon. It's very peaceful in there. No one ever comes in. Ah, I think the little desk will work for now. All the marble tops for the desks are... Okay, I can help you with that. Sight. Yeah, me too. I was just thinking about you. Do you mind me joining you in your special room? In my special room? Yeah, I was going to set up the sewing corner. Oh, here? Yes, yeah. of course. Oh, how exciting. I'm starting Christmas decorations. Christmas decorations. No time like the present. That's very healthy. This isn't my final setup, but at least I have the machine set up and, most excitingly, I've worked out how to transfer the file from my computer and over onto the machine via USB. So that is absolutely huge. I've got this ready. This is just a water-soluble fabric. The idea is if I stitch on this, I'll be able to wash this away and be left with a kind of lace. But I shouldn't have put it on because actually I need to change the bobbin thread to this first. It's really a voyage of discovery I'm on with this machine. I feel as though I'm trying to communicate with something that is far more intelligent than me. It's a really eerie sensation. I'm going to be honest here. Attempt number one. It's taken me some time to get all of the thread out of the machine. I had incorrectly threaded it. Attempt number two is looking better. It's so annoying. It seems such a waste of thread. I'm scared that's going to be too thin for it to embroider onto, but only time will tell. I'm just going to pause it to take out the thread that is now being stitched right in. It might be too late to do that, actually. I should have done that right at the very beginning, maybe. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, ooh, we're getting somewhere. Got it. Off we go. And apparently that is going to take 21 minutes, so I'm going to leave it to it come back and see how it's done. I just fancied it, so I thought I made you one. I didn't know you had a sandwich toaster. Mm -hmm. I do. I bring it out for nice occasions. Special occasions. Or just when the mood hits. Um, so this is three cheeses and ham. You didn't say ham, so I just added ham. Oh, and yes. Mustard. Wow. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With sauce, I'm going to use some water. This is so good. Mm, I know. And just, mm. It reminds me of the UK somehow because there's so many yeah cafes with toasties and i just love them even looking at just the triangle formation <laughs> on the bread makes me happy you're looking very shifty do i know yes mm. why are you looking shifty well i had to be in chateau anyway mm -hmm. so whilst we're driving i passed by mou so that felt like it would be you know, stupid not to go in, yeah. to pop in and have a little look and see what's What, what are you holding behind your back, basically? Well, look, I didn't go crazy. I... Is that a title? What did you get? Bargains. Great. Because no, what actually, we needed in our life was more bargains. I think everything is extremely useful, except for one. Shall we let everyone watching be the judge of that? No, I can be the change of what I buy. Can you let me know, everyone, whether you think that these are, things are useful? I actually think all of them are useful. I think we needed all of it except for one thing. All right, well, rather than talking the about it, shall we look at it? Um, so what? The, the third cremation urn that you've bought. Yeah, he's, bought yeah. he's bought cremation urns? You already have two on the dining room sideboard, and you've got the third one now. Cash for? Okay, no, that's not a no, cremation no, no, no. urn. Come on. I really like it. Is hand paint, it was seven euros. Seven? Yeah. Oh, I know that is a bargain, actually. That's what I thought. That is a bargain. I think it's quite beautiful. Just a little cleaner. I'm with Philip on this one, Maria. It's, I think, if it was... This is your home. If it was a cremation iron, it would have a lid. 
the other two, when they stack on one on top of the other, literally <laughs> like one. You'd be pleased with most of these as well. Okay. Okay. These are. I put these for the tack room because I realize the tack room doesn't have any champagne flutes. Oh, good idea. They go with the other glasses yes. in there. Okay, exactly. fine. That's... And they are dishwashable. Yeah. Good ones are there. I and there now are not. So, see, oh, look, Maria's nodding. So this is a good sign. Is this is good. No, uh, I found two and then I found, found another four and they were like... Oh, well, they're, they're cool design. Like, like yeah, they're cool. Or something. So I thought... We could Each? Have spares. No, 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 for the entire thing. Like three or four euros. Okay. For the entire thing. So it was good to have spares. Like if one of them goes, then we still have... Yeah, fair, fine. And then I think Maria's actually going to be more excited about the other things. She'll make me run for it. <laughs> there we go. Six. Good, yeah, right? Yeah, no, it's good, it's good. All right. Then, jugs. They keep breaking. I know. I don't love those. Me neither. But... They're basically, they're consumables, because Maria is in, in the kitchen as well, and they're used for breakfast sometimes. So, you know, I think it's good... To have Until we find really nice ones, it's fine, yeah. But also, fine. again, they keep breaking. So it's good to <laughs> uh, So I bought uh, four. This one's quite fun. Okay. And then there was one more like this. See? Yep. I'm finding hard to get excited about those, but fine. Yeah, yes, I think good. These are... Natalie was really excited when I showed her. Okay. And then... Oh, actually, uh, let me show you these first. It's a Ooh. pair of these jugs. It seems to be a big jug day for you. Yes. So I'll tell you, jugs are good. Someone, I suppose, must have gotten rid of the jugs. So, look. Yeah, no, that, that is quite useful. So that was good. And then I got artichoke gravy. <laughs> I can't get cross about that beauty. I didn't spend a lot of money, and I actually think that everything I got was really useful. That is one thing we did. Oh, come on. Euro. Who doesn't need that in their life? That's really cute. And it goes with sort of like the other things we have, like the, the lettuce set. And I love and artichokes. Balls. Exactly. Yes. So I'm pretty happy with that one as well. And what did the total amount spend come to? Just around 25 euros. For everything? Yes. So the cash bill is seven. And then yeah. the rest is around 18 euros or so. Excellent thrift shopping. Look, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> you appear to have business. turned into spinach. Yes, that's me. Uh, now, uh, spinach head. <laughs> I am not ready for all of the clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DeMille. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are nice. There's one thing we didn't need. Oh, God, that's all. Oh, that's really Come on, that's good. Oh, no, that's so good. Did you have an art attack when you saw that? Oh, oh It choked me up. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to leave them yeah. to the punks. This is, no, this is... <laughs> It was going so well, but and then I that. told you, I, this is everything we use except for this. But this is ugly. Why? I like it. Oh, because, because of the, like, you know, like the, the lettuce Yeah, the, the other horrible things. But come on, you have to admit that the jugs we needed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm leaving them to their bickering. That is ridiculously exciting. Okay, I'm going to pull it out and put the white thread in. Now, apparently this is the trickiest bit because as I had to take this out to put the bobbin in, apparently if I don't get it back in completely in the same place then it won't stitch in the right place. Oh, hopefully that's completely straight. It's so clever, I can't wait to see how the white comes out. I mean, the little gingerbread house just appearing before my eyes. It is perfect, I cannot believe it. I'm amazed that this really, really thin water-soluble fabric was strong enough for it, but it was. And there's the back, I've got lots of threads to get rid of, but other than that, it looks great. I'm all ready for the guest dinner. It's actually so nice to have an opportunity just to get dressed up. What's happening? I'm ready for my close-up now, okay? Okay, so there's no more spinach. Yeah, no, no, the spinach head has retired. I've made the cutest stuff. I'm so excited. Okay, well, show me. It looks like something out of like a Japanese cartoon. Oh, <gasps> look at it! No! Look at it! <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard you so excited about <laughs> It's so good. It's cute, right? Forest floor. Yeah, see, I'm liking this. Yeah, this, yeah? Dave said a sort of autumnal basket. Yeah, I oh. wanted like a little texture on and It's so good. And how good do they look uh, with the plates? Or on the, on the plates. I can't believe you managed to persuade oh, yeah. him. Oh, yeah. Not only that, I wish you were here for the statement where he said, 
They, they do look good on the plates, yes. Yes! I can say it again if you're here. Yeah, please. Yeah, more. Oh, so yeah. basically, Maria and I have been wanting the pink plates for ages. Yeah. But at the moment, Philip's going through a real uh, phase of what is it? Higher ah. quality porcelain, yeah. which usually yeah. means it's got stains on it because it's from 1753 <laughs> and, and potentially chips. <laughs> Basically, this year and the end of last year, I was really trying to grow sets we already have. So now I've got a few sets that are like for 20 people or for 16 people. Last year, I only had this set. So basically. Oh, so you used this so much last year? Almost every week. And I've grown a bit bored of them. And on top of that, uh, I think the stuff that I've been collecting since is of better quality than this. But. So I usually like to. Um, Rui and I have always been this, very this partial really to the pink quality. plate. Yeah. Look at the way you brought it in with the color of the yeah. Andive as well. So good. When the, when the plate has too much going on, then the food looks kind of unnecessary on it. Yeah. You know? Whereas this works with. Oh, there's nothing unnecessary about this. Well, yeah, precisely. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hello. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. You like it? Yes, I love it. And it's going to look so good with the pink. Yes, it does actually. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Very special. Well done. Cheers. 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 You must all pay special attention you. to uh, Philip's new uh, purchase. Uh, his, uh, After choke, ready to go. Yes. <laughs> No, you're not calling it atrocious. <laughs> you realise you're turning into Philip. Yeah, well, the there's question. loads of things that. Yeah. <laughs> so for the main, we have uh, pork tenderloin with uh, spinach, mm -hmm. uh, roasted nectarine, and confit shallots. And then the sauce is plum and business. Do you follow recipe, or is this is all in your mind? Well, I follow um, like <laughs> techniques, cooking techniques and processes, uh, but I don't like recipes. I like to just. Okay. Good. Yeah, yeah. I think it doesn't really work in this sort of uh, environment because it really depends on what we have in the garden and what's in what's just you know seasonal. Well, yeah. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love the Basque cheesecake. Oh, that dessert. Oh my god. It's too sweet. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, I, I don't know who sweet. said that. I can't I guess. Sweet. But, uh, Did you use the word too? No, but I feel like um being watched right now. <laughs> I don't know why you think that. <laughs> well, you know, Mar Marie never likes sweet things, so it's, it's fine. I tried to uh, put copious amounts of uh, berries on top, but apparently it's not. No. To be fair, Philip says that one of my most common phrases is, it's a little bit too sweet yeah. for me. I Having said that, this chocolate. wasn't too sweet. I thought I went well with the berries. Yeah, no, it was very good. It was very good. Where's the big yeah. dark chocolate mousse? <laughs>